Our spotlight story tonight is about a new book detailing the history of the Big Bend Railroad, written by a Cooley City area native. Reporter Jeff Chu has the details. A new book, Images of America, Big Bend Railroad, is the result of Dan Balliard's lifelong love of all things rail. A Cooley City area native and railroad buff most of his life, Balliard's first book on the region's railroading history will be released in late January. Much of the book is derived from his blog, where he has written almost 2,000 posts about Grant County and regional railroad history. The blog, which he launched in 2007, can be found at sdp45.blogspot.com or search for Big Ben Railroad. Bolliard's book reveals the importance of rail to Grant County's history dating back to the 1890s. So back then, the railroad brought anything and everything you'd ever possibly want. Um, if you lived in Ephrata back in the 1900s, that was how things got there. I mean, if you wanted anything, like you'd order via the Sears catalog, it showed up in a boxcar, was unloaded, and delivered to either you directly or maybe to one of the local stores who in turn sold it to you. Everything came. The mail came. They had dedicated cars and the passenger trains that actually just dealt with the mail. Bolliard is a big collector of railroad artifacts, including a train signal, old railroad crossing signs, and a pair of railroad tie hand lifters. Bolliard's passion for trains dates back to his youth. I've had a lifelong interest in, in, in trains and railroads, having uh, grown up between Ephrata and Cooley City and Moses Lake. Um, so always looking out for you know, something along the tracks as a little guy. Um, really grew into the love of trains uh, as I lived as a, a young man, about 10 years old, in Cooley City. I'd be out there every day. The train was there, just standing there watching these big, big machines switching out cars and, and doing whatever they needed to do. Um, I know the crew had taken an interest in me and it called me out one day, which was so exciting for a little guy. The author says the book was well sourced. He received photos from several people. Um, a number of retired dispatchers for the railroads, um, the archivist at Eastern Washington uh, University, um, regional archaeologist with uh, the Bureau of Reclamation. Um, this wasn't just a neighborhood effort. There's some, some pretty important people who looked over the, the work. One of the most unique finds in his railroad research were the ovens left behind by early rail building crews. As the story goes, the uh, railroad crews, which were of Italian descent back then, had brought over um, some bakers with them, and it was their job to build um, a fire in these big stone ovens that they built. Get the rocks hot, sweep out the, the fire, you can cook anything in there you want. The book will be available online at Amazon.com, Dog-Eared Books in Afreda, and other locations to be determined. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> 